Hi, we're in Blender 4.0. We're doing some clothing modding for Brook Protocol. This user submitted item has some animation issues, so let's fix it. The first issue is the armature, which has all these extra bones we don't want. That happens if you go export your FBX with uh, this add leaf bones option checked. Always uncheck that, something to remember before you export. Um, but that's easy to fix up anyway. You just tab into it. Select all these five end bones, even the neck, X2 delete. And now our armature should look like this and be good to go. So let's see how our satchel is rigged up. If you go into object mode, select the armature and then the satchel, shift click. If you go into weight paint mode, you can see how it's weighted up, how it's rigged up to the skeleton if you go into wireframe. The shortcut now is uh, Alt in Blender 4.0 to see each bone's mapping. Now you can see all this, the red means it's all mapped to this one spine bone, which means it's going to be very stiff and it's not going to animate very nicely. So let's fix that. And the easiest way is to just unparent, unrig everything and start from scratch. So tab out, back into object mode. Now we're going to Alt P, clear parents, keep, or keep transformation so it doesn't move. And we're going to clear any vertex groups you have here, as well as the armature modifier to leave that. Um, so now everything is ready to be rigged up, but we can see one issue is that these the strap faces are are really big, but they have no subdivisions. They have no breaks for bending or animation. So let's add a few loop cuts here to fix that. So if we have that selected, go into edit mode. L is, I think, no, it's, what is that, control R? Whatever, just select loop cut and drag these edges to around the same place as a bone or this, right, this edge here and do it four times for these other edges. Make sure they kind of line up. It's, it doesn't have to be exact. But here's one on the back for this spine bone and another one up here. So now with these loop cuts, right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's close enough. You can see that you can at least now bend with the body, with the bones as the spine moves around. So back into object mode, and now we can parent our mesh. So if we click on the mesh and then the armature, shift click, control P to parent, and we're going to do empty groups because we're going to do all the, the weight painting ourselves. So click that, and now if we do the same thing as before, click on the armature and the mesh go into weight paint mode. Now because we selected empty groups nothing is going to be mapped, nothing is going to be painted, it's going to be all dark blue which means a zero weight value. But we have our handy brushes and we're going to paint it. Now let's start from the hip bone. Let's do a front on view because we're going to paint most of the weight to this hip bone. Uh, so let's uncheck front faces so it's going to pass right through and we're going to change our stroke to the fall off I mean to project it so it's going to be like a cylinder firing all the way through. Now we're just going to paint so it's easy as that. Basically the entire satchel is going to be painted to this, this hip bone and when we have that finished, we're going to select the next bone up, this middle area. There's not too many vertices here, so it's not going to turn out so great. Don't force it. Don't go too far out of the range um, because you'll get weird warping and stuff. And then finally, this last bone here is going to map into the rest of the weights here. 
Let's see if that's looking good. That's pretty good. Now don't select this neck bone because we don't want the strap to move around with the head. But I do want to normalize all so everything kind of evens out and make sure you have a nice kind of uh, transition. So basically all your clothing should look like this. If you're doing something mapped to just the head like a helmet or just the arms or something simple like that then there's some other weight paint or brush options you can select to just flood fill that part of the mesh um, but this body part is normally the hardest and that's why I'm showing this shoulder strap satchel thing today. Now that's pretty much it so if you tab out your mesh should be good to go. Go into export FBX Make sure, again, you have this unselected and export that. And it should be ready to be used in Brook Protocol or whatever. That's it. Thanks.